Howdy, y'all. I'm going to go outside, take all these guys with me. Come on, you guys. Who wants to go outside? And you, Howard. And we're going to go and check out what we did uh, for the grapevines. Now, we're not finished, but we got a whole lot done. So we'll just come out here. Got my new shoes on today. They work really well. I broke them in over the weekend. They're fitting good. I really like them. And so we had this old, it's kind of like an old flower bed. We never did anything with it. And we decided to build it up and make it a raised bed for the uh, vines, for the grape vines. So this is what we've got so far. And this is just some old cross ties that were being used in uh, old flower beds and some cinder blocks. And we have built it up. It's a couple of feet deep. And there's some really good soil in the bottom. We put a little bit of uh, logs and wood and stuff down in there. And then we'll put some, oh, you know, compost and dirt and some ash and uh, all kinds of stuff down in here. And then top it off with really good soil. It's got some good old Arkansas black soil underneath all this old wood we've thrown in here. I can't remember the name of that. Horticultural? I can't remember the name of it. Where you bury wood in the garden. But anyway, it will decompose and eventually make uh, nutrients for the vines. So this is what we've got so far. A pretty good little area. And now we just have to fill it in and we have to get the the dirt in there and get everything planted. What you think, Howard? Not bad, huh? So yeah, it's good and long. I think we're going to be able to put them in and put six feet in between each one, maybe a bit more. But it's a nice long area for us to plant the vines. And they need good drainage, and we don't have good drainage. So we decided a raised bed will be the answer. And it seems like whenever there's um, any water, it seems like this, this end down here where Naboo is, is the drainage end. So instead of uh, cross ties, we put bricks with holes in them facing out. So then there, that will be the drainage for this big long thing so we had to dig a lot of stuff out of here there was several saplings and a couple of good sized trees in this area uh, the first row down there was already here of uh, cross ties it was already here we just added to it we added the cinder blocks and another layer of cross ties and we'll fill these up these cinder blocks up with dirt that will make them more stable i may eventually plant some kind of little flowers down in there i'm not sure but yeah there was a lot of stuff growing in here and in this corner where howard is there was a giant cactus and two trees and here are the stumps get my shadow out of the way these are the stumps of the trees that we pulled up some kind of little hardwood there and then I don't know what this one was but they were all wadded up together so we had to get that big stump out of this end of the garden and so yeah this is gonna be our little mini vineyard just really got to fill it in and get them planted so I'm hoping to get that done this week and once I get all the compost in here that I'm going to use I'm going to uh, go ahead and plant my tomatoes as well but I want to get all the compost in here first before I do that what do you think Howard is it, good, is it a good spot for vines 
and you know it's I've been doing some reading on vines and they like rocky soils and they like uh, good drainage they don't want wet feet and they they do well in poor soil well we don't have any poor soil around here it is all rich Arkansas black soil that's all we have around here it's really good soil it's got some clay in it as you can see some sand is really good uh, so we're just gonna go with this we're gonna make sure it's plenty of drainage and go with our soil and compost and hopefully it's not too rich for them everything else grows like crazy around here I'm thinking some vines will too especially since you know I'm always pulling vines not grape vines of course but as you can see there's just vines just grow everywhere that you don't pull them there's vines just grow everywhere so I'm hoping the vines will do good in our little vineyard raised bed this is a pretty cool little rock it's got a little fossilized shell in it right there I don't know if you can see seashell yeah so that's what we've got for the the good old grapevines and we'll get this filled in with compost and dirt and get them planted as soon as possible the cats have been having a really good time out here huh Vince they love it when their mom and daddy's digging in the dirt it's their favorite so yeah, we had a nice time, we got a lot done, and it won't be too long, we'll have those grapes in the ground. We burned up a lot of stuff, did some mowing, all kinds of stuff. But we had a really productive weekend. I was trying to get a little shot of Norma Jean, but she's running from me. <laughs> Go Norma Jean! But yeah, we got those, got that raised bed all built and ready to go. There she is. Hey, pretty. Hey, pretty. How you doing? <laughs> you look so pretty today. Yeah. So yeah, I got a bunch of junk to do today probably won't get a chance to work on it today but it won't be long and all of these guys will be in the ground I can't wait I don't think that we'll get any produce this year but I'm real excited about planting grapes never done that before so I thought I'd show you the raised bed and what we're up to and hope y'all have a really great day thanks for joining me until next time y'all be sweet